Sound. Hi and welcome to the first video on Sound Megacy's Cubase 4 video tutorial DVD. And we're going to get straight into it. Um, the first thing you need to do with Cubase um, after installation is sort out the um, the MIDI setup. MIDI and audio. But, um, this one is just MIDI. So first thing we need to do is go to Devices. Device Setup. And here you'll see several different options. The one we're dealing with at the moment is the MIDI option. So select MIDI Port Setup. And what you see here is a selection of um, inputs and outputs that your um, system cur currently has available in regards to MIDI. Um, yellow is in, blue is out. So um, at the moment, um, the visible ones Obviously, yours will be different, so you just select the ones that you want to be visible, visible or available to you um, in Cubase. So we'll select those. Make You can select and deselect. So I want that one, that one. I want those inputs. I want that input. And I need the output for that and that as well. Okay. And here, um, in the state section, it shows you what ones are currently active in the current project. So as you can see, those ones are active at the moment. And then you have um, an all input section. Basically what this allows you to do is you can select all inputs for each device and then in your um, your MIDI track, it will give you an option just to select all inputs and as your input. And then if you select that, no matter what device that you use, whether you've got two or three different um, MIDI controllers or synthesizers or whatever they may be, um, whatever one you play will um, activate. Okay, so um, the next section is show as, so that's what it will show like. If you just double click there, you can change it, change the name if you don't if you think it's too long or it's not descriptive enough. Um, here, um, the Microsoft GS Wavetable synth is basically the onboard sound of my sound card. It's not something I want to use, so I've deselected that. And if you look down here, and you can use the timestamp features. Basically, if you're having any kind of problems with your um, timing, your MIDI timing, try selecting these and see if it helps you out at all. Um, it should make your MIDI timing more stable. Um, there's also a help feature here, um, which is very descriptive on any section, which will help you out if it's not clear. And you also have a reset button here, where you can reset to factory defaults. As you see, it put an X back in there. So I'm just going to deselect that. Um, so that's it. Um, that's how to set up your MIDI. Okay, see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.